This is Bill North from the Florida Weekend Warriors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install dimmer switches on your Grand Design RV. They're really needed for the one in the front especially. The V light is way too bright at night. And we're also going to put one up on the, um, the canopy and one on the main lights inside. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is these dimmer switches. I just ordered these right from Amazon. And you can see um, they're long shaft black. Here's the back of the package that you can see it. And then also, you're going to need these cutout plugs. These go right in the main switch panel and the dimmer switch screws right into it. And so it looks like a nice custom installation. And I'll do another video that shows you how to um, order these from this guy on Facebook. To get the adapter plugs for the dimmer switches, I just copied this posting from Facebook. Um, the guy's got several different packages. You can order just one plug for the small holes in the main panel, or you can also order um, a package that has two of those and plus the, um, the one for the V lights in the front, which is a big plug. You basically just go to his PayPal account and send him the money and put in your address. And three or four days later, I got the, um, the plugs. It's that simple. The first thing you gotta do is get this trim ring off. That way you get access to the screws. Now I'm just using a small little screwdriver to try to get right behind it and try to get it off without breaking it. It should just unsnap off. There it goes. The first thing you're going to need is a small little torque bit um, because it, I thought they were Phillips screws, but they're not. It's a little torque bit. Just put it in your drill and undo it on the panel. Now these are the two dimmers we're going to install on the exterior light and on the ceiling light. And we just got to get these switches out of here and put the dimmers in instead. Ooh. Wow, these are tight. Here we go. And if you ever want to know where your um, fuse is for your awning, here it is right here. Just gotta take these two switches off. Let me get my little meter. So the first thing you need to do is remove these wires. Now, this top wire is the one that's hot. So be very careful. And you should probably turn off the 12 volt um, power switch. And you just pull these off and then push the top and bottom of this switch and it should come right through the panel. And then this is what's hot. Then you just push it through. You just push on these little tabs so the swishes will come out of this little hole. Just push down. With a little teeny screwdriver and get once you get started it'll go there it goes there's that switch Stop it. then you just take this little plug and push it right in the slot just like that there you go and the dimmer switch goes right in that hole i'll go get it Yeah. 
see here now. There you go. So it looks like now we just got to hook up the wires. I just used some male connectors and slid them into the female connectors that were already there. That was the easiest thing for me to do. Then I need to put a little electrical tape on them. But you can see you want to hook it up and make sure it works. So you can see it's working good. Now it's time to do the second switch. We got them both in. Let's see if the uh, awning works. There it goes. Works perfect. Now we just gotta put it all back together. If you use the male connectors like I did, just make sure you use some nice electrical tape. That way you don't have any, um, it doesn't pull apart, number one. Number two, um, you don't have a short circuit. So just put some tape on it and you'll be good to go. It's that simple. Last thing to do is just stuff all the wires back in there, and put it back together. There you go. Get a couple of screws. Last thing to do is just put the plate back on. Just snaps in. And we're done. Perfect. There. Now these are the uh, lights in the awning. Turn them all the way up, Deb. You see, now dim them. See, it'd be perfect for watching TV, but it, it'll get as low as you want. Now let's go inside, turn the uh, ones on the inside on. You can see you can make it as bright as you want or turn it down nice and low when you're watching TV. Came out perfect. Now this one is a little different. You can see the switch is way bigger and this goes to the V lights up front. Just kind of take off this cap and then take off the screws. <laughs> Looks like they're two different sizes. Guess I'll have to use a drill on this one. Oh, man. There we go. Here's the two. Here's the two wires. The top one is the feed, the bottom one is the load. So I'll use those same male connectors I use on, on the inside and we'll get this thing done. Now on this one, the bracket goes only one way. See these little tits? This goes on the outside. So the switch goes on the inside. So you put it through the hole like this. I put it through the hole. There it goes. Push it a little bit. Get it in there. Yeah, put the screw on. You should, probably should use some needle nose. Get extra tight. Push the knob back on. So put it down like this. Ready to go. Just need to put the um, connections on the back. So after you get the crimpers on, get the connection. This one's the load. It's gonna come up like that. And then put some tape on it. Now we just got to put it back in the hole.
That's all there is to it. And you just snap this thing back on. There you go. So it looks like when it's done, then you just turn it on, you just turn it on, it goes off. Let's see if it works. Works perfect. We'll try it out at night, it'll look a lot better. So we got the dimmer switch installed on the V-lights. Deb's gonna show us how bright it gets. So turn it up, Deb. You see, that's how bright it normally is, so, so turn it back down. So you can see that's, that's what the neighbors usually like. So we'll go we hope you liked this video and found it helpful. One helpful tip, the dimmer switch for the V-light, there's a little bit of play in that little bracket that I ordered. So I just cut a little piece of wire and wrapped it around the switch to take the, the play around it. I just, it is a perfect fit to just loop it all the way around the switch and it fit right in there. Just push it into the screwdriver. So please subscribe to our channel. Um, we hope you like this video. We'll see you next time. See ya.